And the audience for the upcoming Baseball World Series is very much a sure thing. And for the Mets, that means big bucks. The postseason games could see the team turn a profit after years of climbing out from under losses from the Bernie Madoff scam. Now, Jake Brown is the co-host of Brown and Scoop, CBS's radio podcast. And uh, does this mean that the Mets will have more to spend next year? And is that a good thing? It sure does. I mean, we're talking about $45 million potentially in added revenue for the Mets. That's and huge. Of, it's, of course, it's a good thing. This is a team that had the Bernie Madoff scandal cost them almost $180 million. We're talking about a team that had $140 million payroll. They need the cash. They basically. need it. They were down $100 million. They need that money. They got big names, free agents. Got to have that money. Okay, so let's look at the ticket prices to start off with. Off the charts. Tell us about that. Well, if you want to get in, you got to donate a kidney at this point. That's what it <laughs> seems like. We're talking about 600 just to stand. And I've done standing room. It's not pretty. When it's cold in October, it's not pretty. We're sure. talking $1,100, the wow. average price, just for a seat. At the moment. At the moment. And that's okay. not including fees on StubHub and all that. $1,100. And do okay. you think most of those are genuine uh, fans or just people trying to cash in? I think a lot of people are trying to cash in. We're talking $100 face value going for 1000 People posted tickets for one million dollars. That's we're crazy. About that. That, that's what kind of t what sort of seats are we talking about? I mean, there, there were million. people posting a million for upper level to bad seats, uh, good seats, ten grand, fifteen grand. Are we're people going to pay for those sort of seats? If, if they got the money, they will. But I'm not. I'll tell you that. Let's talk about the merchandising as well. In that case, because uh, they're going to make an awful lot of money off the merchandising for the back end of this. Tell us about that. They're already making millions off the merchandising. Each round, there's new merchandise that comes out, and I'm a recipient of someone who's buying this merchandise because hey, I got to buy in. It's been 15 years since they made the World Series. They're making millions. You got the NLDS, NLCS, and then World Series sweatshirts, jackets, shirts, hats, everything. It's insane. So how much are the players getting out of, of the? I mean, the Mets payroll is $112 million right now. Okay. Um, so an average player, a couple million dollars. So off at the end of the, the, the World Series, at the end of all the playoffs, then how much will they cash in on? Each, each player gets a certain bonus. I don't know the exact bonus, but each player will get a World Series bonus if they win. And it's going to help the team get the payroll higher and be able to sign the guys that they want to sign. Okay, but the, the fans are absolutely up for buying tickets and those sort of prices, up for buying their sort of merchandise, as, you, as you've mentioned already. Let's, let's talk about the free agent market, because that's pretty interesting, isn't it? Any highlights there? you got Daniel Murphy, kind of the face of the team right now. He's become the new Mr. October. I know Yankee fans aren't going to like that. Sure. And you have Yoan Cespedes, the guy who turned the season around when they got him on July 31st. He's going to be demanding 25 to $30 million a year wow. for six years. Daniel Murphy has worked his way into the 15 to $20 million range that's two guys that the Mets are going to have trouble affording. And do you think the Mets are going to pay for that? Here's do you think the, thing. the Mets are going to pay for Daniel? If they win the World Series, I don't think Murphy's coming back because they'll think they've accomplished something, which they did, and they won't need to pay him. They could fill guys like a Wani Uribe, Kelly Johnson there. Cespedes, it's going to be a bidding war. Everyone wants him. Yankees may go after him. Multiple teams are going to go after him. Well, the Yankees have got deep pockets, haven't they? Yeah. I mean, the Mets will likely get one of the two. Who it is, who knows? If they win the World Series, I think Murphy's gone. Who's, who's your money on? <sighs> I say they keep Cespedes. I think he's more of a season-changing player. Second base, you don't need that kind of a hitter there. I love Daniel Murphy, but, man, I think with that kind of money he's going to get, he's got to go. Okay. So we talked about the, the ticket price. We talked about merchandising. And, of course, the, the big cash that's coming in, what else can the Mets do with that extra cash? And they're obviously going to go to man shopping spree, possibly with players, obviously. Yeah, well, we know ticket prices are going up. The Mets have 500,000 more seats that are going to be sold. That's part of the new revenue coming in for next year. A lot wow. of people bought season tickets for next year in order to get playoff tickets for an affordable price where they don't have to, as I said, give a kidney or give away a body part to get tickets. So they'll go out. They'll get a second baseman if they lose Murphy. They'll get some bench players. They'll get defense. They'll get some bullpen help. There's some pieces that need to fill. But this team, the core is in place to be a team that could contend for a World Series in the next three to four years. So this is obviously big news, obviously. You said, what, 2000 was the last time? 2000, 2006, the last time they made the playoffs. It's been 15 years. They haven't won since 86, so we're talking almost 30 years. Desperate times right now for Mets fans. It feels great, but there's still four games to go. Are you a Mets fan? I am. I'm going Saturday and Sunday, game four and five. And how much did you pay for your tickets? I paid 250 I got them for face value. have pretty good seats. I'm five rows in the field. In the outfield That's pretty good. With the seven-line army, a big group of fans, 800 fans. It's going to be pretty crazy. Fantastic. Well, I do envy you, Jay. Listen, thanks for joining us. Thank Enjoy you. the game. Thanks for Thank having you. me. Well, did Hollywood strike out at the box office this weekend? That story next when a rise exchange continues. We'll be right back.